Welcome to another episode of Questions for Cole. This is episode five, and we continue to get over 100 views each week. So apparently people are having a lot of trouble finding anything better to do. We don't have any deep theological questions this week, but we do have some other questions, so let's get right to them. Our first question is, Cole, are you missing sports these days? Yes, I am. I'm missing baseball more than anything else. I check the sports channels once in a while, but they don't have much to offer these days. One sports network was showing some sort of marble racing one day. There were all these different colored marbles rolling down a carved out outdoor path. And I guess you were supposed to cheer for a particular marble to get to the bottom first. I don't know. I didn't catch the end of it. That's not really a sport, I don't think. Oh, and another channel was showing people playing poker, which is definitely not a sport. And one day they had fishing on, if you can imagine. If I had kept watching that, I would have definitely been cheering for the fish. So the answer is yes, I am missing sports, and especially baseball. But it's not the end of the world. The good news is that my Minnesota Twins have not lost a game yet this season. And the other good news is that the despicable New York Yankees have not won a game yet this season. So there's at least a bit of a silver lining, I guess. The next question was actually from a few weeks ago, and I'm getting around to it today, and it was this. Cole, do you think our first service, once we return from physical distancing, could be a PJ service? <laughs> I feel some of us may take a while to readjust to street clothes. <laughs> PJ's uh, pajama service. Um, no. Next question. Oh, this one I've received from a number of different people over the past few weeks. And the question is, how are you doing, Cole? Well, thanks for asking, everyone. I'm actually doing just fine. It's been an interesting transition from church at church to church online. But I wouldn't say it's been overly difficult. There has been a bit of a learning curve to try to figure out how to make the technology work properly, but uh, so far it's been okay. I'm trying to figure that out slowly. Sometimes it seems as if the world has been turned completely upside down. There have been a few minor glitches, but nothing too serious. And I've had lots of help from people working away behind the scenes, so thanks for that. One of the good things that has come out of this is that our worship services and our midweek messages are reaching some new people and some old friends. I've had some wonderful messages sent to me thanking me and our whole church family for including them in worship. We're reaching people from far away, but also some of our own Selkirk people who have not been able to join us for Sunday worship, but they are able to watch us online. And it's great to hear that that's possible now for them. So I'm glad that we're able to offer good news to so many people these days. And I'm grateful for all the people who are figuring out their own ways to keep in touch with, with each other and lift each other's spirits. I get to hear a lot of those stories when I'm talking to people on the phone and other similar messages and stories come to me by email and text and Facebook Messenger. So even though I am missing some of the regular routine and seeing everybody face to face, it's good that something positive has come out of this. And I think it's been very positive to be able to communicate with so many of you through all of these other methods. Other than Sunday mornings, a lot of my work hasn't really changed all that much. Pastoral care is still happening, just over the phone usually. We're still having some of our meetings. They're just online rather than in person. I prepare the sermon and other parts of worship in pretty much the same way as I always have. It's just the delivery of them that's different quite different. And staying connected with the wider church has already had already moved to being done more online than in person before the pandemic hit, with the elimination of presbytery meetings and an increase in online connections with colleagues that was already happening. So I'm doing fine under these strange circumstances. But I want to end with asking that same question of all of you. How are you doing? I want to hear from you. So keep sending in your emails and your prayer requests and let us know how you're doing. Let us know if there's any way we can help. 
And that's it for questions for Cole for another week. Keep those questions coming in, and I'll see you next time.